Hi everyone, welcome back to Abdul Nale channel. Today we are going to see part 4 of ISO 19011 and uh, the version is 2018 version. As you all know, ISO 19011 is the guideline for auditing management system. Right? This is the fourth video. First three videos were dwelled on basic overview of ISO 19011 and then the seven classes were broadly explained and then the second part was to do with the type of audit and the categories of audit and the third part was on the FAQ what are the different things and people get the misconceptions about the ISO 19011 for example ISO 19011 does it only for the external auditor and those things were clarified from the reference from the standard itself right so in this part 4 of video and we are going to talk about the fourth one the principle of auditing we are going to go through the principle of auditing uh, just to go you, uh, give you an overall overview of uh, entire classes there are seven classes in ISO 19011 class number one is scope class number two is uh, normative references Class number three is uh, then you have first is scope uh, number one, number two is normative references, number three is terms and definition, number four is the one which you are going to mull over in detail that is principle of auditing, right? And then class number five is managing an audit program, how to have opening meeting, how to choose an auditor how to choose the criteria and so on that will be dwelled in the upcoming videos and then conducting an audit now you are performing an audit how to do it that's class number six and class number seven is all about competence and evaluation of auditor right that's what uh, this class is all about and then followed by you also have something called annexure that annexure talks about the sampling talks about the type of audit uh, includes like remote, on-site and so on and also it has got bibliography also as well from the various how it is being uh, extracted from the various other uh, standard also as well. Now let's talk about the core discussion of today's uh, training is all about class number 4. Class number 4 is principle of auditing and it has A to G point right. So I have just put it down all these points in a brief one word so that you can easily remember that first one is A right integrity so in the uh, you know when you are the, the core principle right in the very first point the standard has claimed uh, has used the word integrity integrity is important for example as an auditor what we should do is we should be very formal and we should follow all the ethical for example, if the auditor has to follow certain PPEs, personal protective equipment, the auditor shall not be hesitant to follow those things, right? Exactly the same thing, the integrity is all about ethical decision, making uh, not a biased decision and all that talks about integrity. Number B point you have that is fair presentation. That is also an essential quality of an auditor. Why fair presentation? We are just only conducting an audit. Why the standard talks about the presentation is because when you are able to write it down, observe everything, write it down in audit report and you are going to sit with the uh, RDT and then explain the whole thing. What you witnessed during the audit, right? That's what it has used the word fair presentation. If you yourself have got a self-doubt, now this can be observation or this can be LC and uh, the, you know the, uh, you would have not picked up the more objectivity and evidence then it may not sound good right that is the reason it talks about the fair presentation what is the outcome of fair presentation in order to have two things truthfulness the credibility of your report the number two is the accuracy of your report right these two are very important that's what standard has used the word fair presentation let's talk about the third thing Third thing, professional care, like you, I mean your colleague uh, may be performing internal audit, may be a very good friend of you, may be a good colleague for you, may be a good uh, companion for you, but when it comes to an audit, it is a professional, right? 
we how to if it is non conformity you have to raise it as a non conformity right if there is any recommendation for improvement that also need to be reported in the audit report that's what professional care is all about another thing is not attacking on a person right for example you are not following the process and you are deviating the process no those words uh, should not be uttered and you should observe from the process standpoint not the person fault right it is not to fa find fault the person it is all about how you can care about the process not on the pro person the fourth is the next one confidentiality whether the external auditor whether the supplier auditor if we are doing a first party audit or second party audit or third party audit the number one thing is the confidentiality even in internal audit right you have done an audit you are not going to go over around the bench and then keep telling to everyone that you have got a non conformity and uh, this uh, team has got a non conformity no no we need to tell even that's what actually in the audit uh, opening meeting this is the common sentence being used right two phrases being uh, used you might all already know that one this is the fact finding audit not fault finding audit that you always utter right that is one thing the second thing what we also say uh, share that during the opening meeting is if this audit uh, have we have found any non conformity or observation it does not prove that you have a bad system in place right because this whole audit program goes in a sampling right exactly the vc works also as well if this audit concludes with zero non conformity zero uh, observation it does not conclude that you have a perfect system there will not be any customer complaint can come in can, there will not be any complaints issue can happen right so it does not prove because it's all about sampling we will not be able to do that and in the in the past video i also talked about the sampling also as well why 100% sampling is not possible and so on that's therefore confidentiality is very very important let's go to the next point is independence independence actually demonstrate the word independence be able to perform the audit independently report the audit and if you wanted to have a second opinion from your audit lead you can do so but however what is very important is you need to demonstrate the independence and you should choose what sample to be used you should choose what uh, who to be audited what section to be audited and all that right so the next one is uh, the next one is evidence based decision making anything and everything but the fact is we need to pick from the facts and give a conclusion so draw every inferences every conclusion with the evidence based thinking the last and final one is risk based thinking risk based thinking is a very new thing which is been added risk based thinking is all about when you have a different functions and uh, the different functions produce a different uh, ppm or custom complaint or the internal issues and all that you have to pick which is most concerning one or within the process which is a critical process and all that you have to adjust the frequency you have to adjust the process in order that where the risk is there that process you need to take it down so these are all the thing which talks about the class number 4 i hope this video is very insightful and meaningful providing the context on the uh, zooming out the version of principle of auditing i will be making uh, the fifth edition a uh, fifth uh, version on managing the audit program please do like share subscribe to the channel you have wonderful day ahead